good if you want to check it out now it simply says that you are given a file system and you have to perform these operations now dot dot slash means that move to a parent folder as we do in simple web, simple web development and simple development in, in general but if i am at the root folder then remain there itself dot slash means okay remain in the same folder x slash means go to that specific folder and ultimately i have to tell that in how many operations i can reach back to my main folder let's see with example it says that i am at my main root i will go to a d1 folder i went to a d1 folder as you can see just after the root then it said go to a d2 folder i said okay go to a d2 folder then dot dot slash which means move back and when i say move back i move back and move from just top i will just remove this so i have only d1 now then it says go to d21 okay i then went to d21 from d1 okay then it says that do nothing okay nothing is done and thus this is my final state now they are asking how many operations are needed to just go back to my main folder so for sure i will need two operations to go to my main folder so i or i can also tell what is the current depth of my from my root what is the current depth of this folder this is how much i have to take steps to go back to my main folder now it's obvious the step used here was what the step used here was that from as soon as i will apply this operation in which i am going back to the previous folder i am kind of removing something which i just now inserted what is that data structure where you remove something which you just now inserted that's a simple stack so the first intuitive again i'm saying the first intuitive way was to think of a stack because i have root okay this is root i will push simply d1 then i'll push d2 then this is removed then again i push d21 and then nothing is removed because of this operation so ultimately the stack size will give me the answer so time used will be o of n to go to all these n strings and the space used will be my space used will be my o of n because of the stack which i am using let's see the code so i simply took a stack in which i simply went on and go on to like go on to all the logs or all the files or all the operations if the operation is dot dot slash which means i have to go back to my root folder but the condition was provided provided if i am not in the main folder itself which means if my stack is already empty i cannot remove something from the stack right so if the stack is already empty don't remove something from the stack you cannot go back if you are at already at the main folder if not if if this is again if this would have been a dot slash then you would have remained there itself but if it is not a dot slash which means else the other only condition is you have added something if you have added something then simply push that something in your current stack and i have pushed my specific folder name itself because see the operation was d2 and slash so technically the folder name is only d2 so i have pushed only d2 here and i have discarded my slash because i just wanted to know the folder name ultimately i have written the size of my stack which will say how many operations will be needed to come back to my main folder or how many such depth i have now the best part about this approach is that even if they would have asked me at the current point of time after applying all the operations what all is the file structure i would have represented that by simply popping out from the stack if they would have just asked me that what is the final file what is the at the root which you are currently at i would have also told like i would have also told by using my stack i just have did stack dot top s dot top but the time and space both are here o of n do you think can you optimize it you can think of optimization only when if you think what you needed you only needed the number of operations they are not concerned about what files you are having or not you can let's name the file as x they they are not concerned about the files they are only concerned about number of like the number of files which means the depth so it makes sense that you don't need to actually stack stack you can just imagine you have a stack and then keep keep on increasing the size of stack decreasing the size of stack which means what i will do now is i realize i don't want to know the names of the files at all so i can just consider i can assume i have a stack in mind and i can just increase size decrease size which means okay d1 so initially the stack size is let's say 0 but okay one came in so increase the size another came in increase the size oh it has to go back decrease the size oh new came increase the size oh remain there like 
do nothing. Thus, this is your stack final size. So you saw that I maintain a simple variable, count or stack size something, which will help me maintain this specific count. So this is what we will do. That we just have simply maintain a count and we'll check. Okay, if my log, which means log value is dot dot slash, it has to go to my previous folder. But if I'm already at the main folder, which means only I can go back, I can decrease my count only when my count is more than zero. So I can only decrease my count in that case, which means I am at a folder other than the main folder. Else if the same thing which we saw that if it is not a dot slash, which means if it is not a dot slash, it means not dot, dot slash means remain on the same file. Up, if it is not this, which means it, it would be something like D21 slash or D2 slash or maybe something of this sort. If this is the case, then simply push that or increase the count and ultimately return the count. With this, time will be still O of n because you are using going on to all the logs, but space will be O of 1 because now you are using n just one variable. Good. That is how we think of again the intuitive approach is stack only and it will help you more in follow ups if it could have been for this problem. Cool. Bye bye. Take care. Again, it's an easy one. Bye. Take care.